Hello everyone, it's Judy here and you're welcome to Smartwood Stories. So earlier this year, Google announced Wear OS 4, which brings more apps to Wear OS watches. Some of the apps that were expected are Gmail and WhatsApp apps. We have long seen WhatsApp. However, with the launch of Galaxy Watch 6, which launched with Wear OS 4, and even the Galaxy Watch 4 and 5 series, which have also received us for thanks to the one i5 watch update there was no sight of the gmail app but then google just announced the pixel watch 2 and lo and behold the gmail app is now available on google play store now what this means is that you can now install the gmail app on your Galaxy watch 4 5 or 6 series as well as on any other watch or on wear s3 and above with a new gmail app just like the whatsapp app you will be able to effortlessly manage your email messages directly from your watch now if you go to the google play store app on your phone and you search for gmail you should see the option to install on watch okay right here you can see because i have the glass watch 5 pro here i can actually install this remotely on my watch Alternatively, you can still go to the Google Play Store app on the watch and search for Gmail. Okay, you can go to the Google Play Store app on the watch and search for Gmail and you should see that we now have Gmail live and direct on Wear OS Watch. Okay, I'm going to tap on install to install this and of course, we're going to see what features are available with the new app. So guys, I have successfully installed the Gmail app on my Glass Watch 5 Pro here and I'm going to tap on open to see what this actually looks like. Okay, now if you have a multiple account registered on the watch, you will have the option to choose one of those accounts, okay? I'll just go with one of this. So guys, there we go. This is what the Gmail app looks like, okay? I'll just go to this particular message, let's see. I want to see if the option to reply, I think this is a no reply kind of message. Okay. I'm going to check this one out. Okay. So guys, you can actually reply to a Gmail message. Okay. Directly from the watch without having to go to your phone. And that is what I find very, very interesting about the new app. Okay. I mean, it gives you that um, needed freedom. All right. So guys, I'm going to test something out right now. I'm going to send a message to my email here. I want to see if I can reply to that message even while my phone is switched off or I turn off um, this on my phone. I want to see if I can actually reply with Wi-Fi enabled on the watch, okay? So guys, from what I just found out right now, this is the Bluetooth model of the Galaxy Watch 5 um, Pro and i have my phone here it's turned off okay so even with my phone turned off i can still receive and reply to gmail messages as long as i have wi-fi network enabled okay so if you are in an area where you have wi-fi network you can receive and reply to messages and of course if you own the lte model of the galaxy watch you can actually receive and reply to messages with wi-fi or the cellular data of the watch so I'll just go to this message and I'll try to reply to it. Okay. Um, testing the new Gmail app. Hi Jude, let's see if you can actually reply to a message from the watch without your phone. Okay, this was sent from Outlook on my Android phone. So guys, as you can see, even with my phone turned off, I can receive and reply to a message with a Gmail app. And that for me is a significant leap forward. So guys, that is what you get with a new Gmail app. You can receive and reply to your Gmail messages, even without your phone, as long as you have access to a Wi-Fi network. If you own the LTE model, of course, you can use either Wi-Fi or cellular data. With a new Gmail app, you also get a new Gmail tile. If you go to a list of tiles and you go to add tiles and you scroll through, you'll find a new Gmail tile here. Okay, 
And from this style, you can easily manage your Gmail messages already from here without having to access or open the Gmail app. And that is it for this video. If you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, smash the subscribe button and of course, turn on the notification bell to always get updates from me whenever I upload a video like this. Until next time guys, goodbye.